Very nice set pieces, actually. Entering Pokemon League, Center Gate. Yeah. And here's the big, f big building. So here it is, the Pokemon League. C the combination Pokemon Center and Pokemart. I'm here at the combination Pokemon Center. Dude, this is fucking barren. There's nobody here. Except the shopkeeps and the guards. Holy shit, Mora. That's wild. Alright, so. First things first, let's, uh. Go ahead and deposit our HM. Our, our fodder. I don't need them. I mean, you can do that. Let's see what the Pokemon sells. Just hyper. Okay. I was hoping for different types of Pokeballs, but you know what? Ultra Balls, sure. Got Hyper Post, Max Post, and Full Restores. You know what? I'm actually going to buy some Full Restores, because I'll probably need them. I think I have plenty of revives. I have eight. Let's make that an even ten. Um, and yeah, that should be good for now. Alright, well, let's talk to these guards here. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Okay, well they confirmed while I was reading. Cool. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Arr, Hell yeah. Let's go. We can now take on the Pokemon League Challenge. Oh fuck, I'm saving first. Alright, so before this, I need to plan out who do I want to start with. Um, I think Deborah would probably be the most useful to start this with. So, let's take the step in, and let us begin. The Elite Four Challenge. Door closes behind me, I cannot go back. Once I start, I cannot stop. Here we go! Welcome, Challenger! I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. Hey, it's my cat. It's, it, it's my cat. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. All right, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Let's go. Ah, here's the League the Elite Four music that I uh, knows oh so well. All right, here we go. First elite four, dude. Sydney's got some fucking drip, man. I never noticed the drip he had. WWE promos all day. Holy shit, Reaper! It's kind of wild. All right, so he leads off with a mighty Enna. Uh, his main type is dark, which is why I led with Deborah. Although with the mighty Enna's intimidate, that might have not been the best of uh, ideas. Absol can probably one shot him. Level 49. So we're still got quite the level advantage, at least at the start here. Of course, the levels are going to gradually go up as we progress through this. The opponent levels. Uh, Shift Tree. Um, I'm actually going to switch out just to get rid of the Intimidate uh, nerf. So we'll we'll just uh shift trees grass, we'll just use a flying attack. Hopefully aerial ace will be enough. Start a battle, I don't know, but I like it. Oh no, double team. It would be a shame if I had an attack with perfect accuracy. Once more, with passion. Alright, cool. <laughs> Cacturn. Oh, grass resists fighting, so I guess this is actually, like, the smartest, uh, the best course of action here. Alright, 
Damn it, Kek turn's done. Before, uh, Carlos putting in the work. <laughs> Kek turn. <laughs> and finally, Crawdaunt. Water Dark. Uh, so. Bring Dever back out for the killing blow. Yeah, my pincers. I love the Elite Four music. There we go. One down. Three to go. We defeated Sydney. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Dude, once again, his drip and his attitude. Very good. I like, I like Sydney. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. Got what it takes to go far. Now, go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Okay. It goes very hard, Mora. I very much like it. Alright. Let's see. Okay. I believe this one is Ghost Specialist, so we'll put Difka in the lead for this one. I don't know, Mora, and I don't want to ask questions. <laughs> Aha! I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try to see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Ghost Specialist. I like how Phoebe's aesthetic does not match her fucking type affiliation at all. Oh well. It is what it is. <clears throat> Alright, Dusclops. So, uh, we're probably going to get a lot of use out of Shadow Ball in this battle. Oh, fuck me. The most annoying combo ever. A Pokemon with Pressure and Protect. Because that was just a waste of 2 PP. Fucking hate it here. Okay, Shadow Ball is not... Well, I'm not gonna one-shot any of these. That's for sure. <laughs> Alright, Bayonet. The straight ghost. Actually, I probably could've led with, uh... Debra against the Dusclops, because I think Dusclops is part ground. I could have just used a Giga Drain. <clears throat> oh, son of a bitch. Alright, that's fine. That's not fine. Alright, I know she's going to use a full restore, so I'm just going to crunch, because... Because... Pure Ghost? Oh, I'm thinking of Claydol. Okay, never mind. Oh! Wait. I thought Ghost resists Dark, or is it... No, Dark resists... Okay, I know. I got my type matchups fucked up here. For some reason, I thought Ghost resisted Dark, but... It's actually weak to Dark. Okay. Never mind, I don't need Shadow Ball. I have fucking Crunch. I can do Crunch Spam. One double team is all it takes. Nom nom. Yeah. The the whole psychic ghost dark fucking triangle, I always get confused. Dude, I never actually took a long look at Bayonet's eyes until now. Nightmare Fuel. And uh, finally, a Dusclops. <clears throat> Another Dusclops. I was honestly expecting a Protect. Ooh, interesting. 
Ice Beam, also kind of interesting. Oh, Berry. Okay, Citrus Berry. What else? I was gonna knock her out with a uh, Shadow Ball, but I guess I'll Crunch instead. Alright, cool. Two down. Oh, darn. I've gone and lost. Oh, shucks. Oh, man. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. Didn't recognize it, but it's only natural that I lost. Yep. I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead. Move on to the next room. Okay. Interesting how the spotlights turn off whenever the door opens. Got my justice. Oh, shit. Dick justice. Okay, this one's gonna be interesting. Um, let's go ahead and heal Divka a little bit. Klondike is discontinuing the ta Choco Taco. Oh. Well then. Alright, this is gonna be a good battle for Deborah because, uh, well, if you can't tell, I'll, I'll show you. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. If you can't tell, by the way, these very obvious signs. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may, so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I've seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would pleasure me to no end if I could go all out against you. I think she uses fighting types. I don't know about you, chat. <laughs> the electric trainer. <laughs> Anyways, here's a Celio. She uses ice types. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna get a lot of mileage out of brick break and brick break in this battle. <clears throat> Level up. Two more levels in Delbra's attack stat will be two hundred. Another Celio. What a shocking starting pick. <laughs> Turns out it's it's uh, actually just electric attacks, but like different <laughs> different Pokemon types. They all know Shockwave though. Oh, she's already bringing out her Ace. Okay. Walrein. Uh, this is what Celio evolves into, and this is also what I used in my. Uh, original playthrough of this game back in the day. And goodbye. I was honestly was not expecting to one-shot that. We got the one-shot. And now for the pure ice types. Starting with this Glalie. So I think this is our first sighting of Glalie. We haven't even seen this pre-evolution yet, I don't think. There's actually a lot of Pokemon I have not seen yet that are new to this region. It's weird. I've like simultaneously caught a lot of things, but also not a lot of things. Anyways, yeah, two Glalie. And there we go. We have swept the shit out of Glacia with five Brick Breaks. Deborah, way too strong. You and your Pokemon. How hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. Get it? Because fire melts ice, which means ha 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 ha. It's no surprise that my icy skills fail to harm you. <laughs> fail is a strong word there. Not strong enough. All right, advance to the next room. And there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Oh no. Fear. Alright, uh, I know Carl is gonna have to lead off for this because, at least I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong. I'm definitely not wrong. Alright, cool. Anyways, here's an interesting... I like the aesthetic of this room, honestly. Anyways, I am the last of the Pokemon Elite Four, Drake, the Dragon Master. Where's Josh? I'm funny. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild, living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? You don't. 
then you will never prevail over me. Anyways, here's Captain Drake. Of the SS dragon fucker. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, his jacket's kind of tattered. Bro, you need to see a tailor. Like, I, I can probably recommend you a couple good tailors. So yeah, Drake the Dragon Specialist, leading off with a shell gone. Uh, probably gonna get a lot of use out of Dragon Claw and Ice Beam in this battle. And once again, Protect can go fuck itself. Yeah, speaking of this, <laughs> you know what, Reaper? I actually was not thinking about our, uh, that Taylor, but that works too. Taylor Mills Racing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Our first uh, floofy Fortnite battle. Time to beam. Since dragons and flying types are weak to ice, does four times damage. Then he uses a flygon. Walk around, and find out. Hey, look. There, there's your question answered, uh, Mora. He does, in fact, have a flygon. Alright, so I forget how the ground type is involved in this. I want to say ground is also weak to ice. I can't remember, though. Oh, we one-shot it. Shot him anyways, so... Okay, so ground is weak to ice. Alright, cool. And then here's his ace. Salamence. This is the, uh, basically the Dragonite, or the Typhlosion of this game, the pseudo-legendary. The big strong fucker at the end of the Pokedex listing. Uh, also quad weak to ice, because it is dragon flying. I'm taking a very big risk here, by the way. If I don't one-shot any of these, they will absolutely wreck my shit if they use a dragon or ice move themselves. Did I say Typhlosion? Yeah, uh, Tyranitar, yeah. I meant Tyranitar, despite what, whatever I said. Alright, and his last is a Kingdra. So... Dragon Water. So a Dragon Claw will, uh... Do the, take care of that. Go so close. Typhlosion is my dog. <laughs> He will undoubtedly use a full restore here, so I'm just gonna we'll uh, we'll we'll poke him with aerial ace, and then we'll get the killing blow with the uh, dragon claw. Oh, that did less than I expected. That one dragon dance, huh? Okay, and a crit. Goddamn. One HP. Oh, he had another full restore! The bastard! He had two of them. Should've just stuck with the Dragon Claw, goddammit. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, whatever. We got lucky with the, uh... damage RNG. The damage calculation this time. Alright, well, almost got fucked by the Kingdra. Everything else was an easy sweep. Superb, it should be said. That's all he's got to say. Just kidding. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokémon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a v virtuous heart. Pokémon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go. Go onwards! The champion is waiting. Oh yeah, by the way, it's 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 a uh if you're new to this, this is a five trainer battle, not a four trainer battle. Because not only do you have to deal with the Elite Four, you also have the champion of the region to battle. So let's just use a full restore on Karo here. Um I'm not entirely sure who to lead with. I think I'm gonna lead with Deborah. And just, uh, 
go with that, so... Let's head up the lar much larger staircase, complete with spotlights. And, uh... Get, as soon as we go through the door, get auto-walked into the... Champion battle. Here he is. It's Wallace. Hey, remember Wallace? Welcome, Rhino! That incident in Setopolis City. That was superb work. Putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oh, oops. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now! Champion music, go! It is time to face off against the Hoenn champion, Wallace. But only only in this game is he the champion. Uh, again, in Ruby and Sapphire, Wallace is the Setopolis gym leader. But in this game, he's the champion, and his uh, mentor took over the uh, Setopolis gym. So, uh, you're probably wondering, well then, who's the champion in Ruby and Sapphire? We'll meet him later. Anyway, it's just leading off with a Waylord. Uh, I don't know if I want to start... Do I want a Giga Drain spam? Yeah, let's, let's do Giga Drain spam. Let's see what happens. This Wailer is level 57. I forgot how high Wallace's levels were. Okay, that did 50%. A little more than 50%. Ooh, Rain Dance, okay. Well, that'll power up water type moves. Now last five turns. Let's do another Giga Drain here. I don't think I have any moves in my team that are negatively affected by Rain Dance, so we should be fine. Alright, big whale down. Milotic. Next. Beauty. Alright, I'm actually gonna go with a Brick Break just to see how much damage that's gonna do. See if I should just go for the big hit or. This, oh fuck, I forgot about Ice Beam. There's a very large chance that most of his Pokemon know Ice Beam. Citrus Berry? Citrus Berry, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Giga Drain just to heal. Him in Beam. Okay, Milotic has a pretty high special defense compared to uh, physical defense. Unfortunately, Deborah is dead. <laughs> Fuck, alright. Well, that kind of puts a slight damper on my plans, but we still we, we still got two more. And I have plenty of revives if I need them. Um, I do want to avoid having Karo out as much as possible because of the whole Ice Beam thing. So, the only time I would use Karo is as a sacrifice to, he to, uh, to heal up one of these two. Oh, and he knows Recover. Oh, I don't like that at all. Ooh. Oh, he's being a bastard. All right. Surf. <laughs> Once the rain finally stops, he find that's when he uses a water attack. All right, so Milotic has very high special defense. So, oh fuck you! All right, like I said, using Caro as a sacrifice. We're gonna use a max revive on Debra. Surf recover, ice beam, I don't fucking know. Oh, and a full restore, of course. 
Uh, do I use another turn to heal Divka? Yes, yes I do. Because Divka can handle, again, the Ice Beam conundrum means Karo is the weakest link in this uh, situation. Oh, and a crit, because, you know, that was totally necessary. Alright, we are back to square one. Oh, Toxic is his fourth move, okay. Well, that's... I will... I'll take the Toxic Poisoning over getting bodied by Ice Beam again, honestly. Alright, Tentacruel. What is Poison Leaf to? I don't think... Mm. Okay, we're gonna have Divka deal with the Tentacruel. Oh, all by tossing cover spam. Uh, yeah. Alright, clear body, okay. Oh, I actually wanted to use Crunch, but sure, we'll go with that. Psychic and Ground, neither of those types I have in my move pool. The good thing is, uh, once you switch out, the Toxic Poison becomes regular Poison, so... Instead of... Sapping more HP per every turn. Saps the same amount. Alright, once again, it seems like, uh... It seems like Wallace's team also specializes in high special defense. Special, special. Divka is dead. What are these crits, man? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Is he going to use a hyper uh, full restore? Probably. I want Divka alive just in case. Man, remember how we breezed through the first four Pokemon? And now we're going... Th or first four trainers, and now we're going through it? Alright, uh... I don't know how Brick Breaks as well. That's right, Poison Resist Fighting. Of course that he knows Ice Beam. Why wouldn't he? Shit in my pants. Yeah, yeah, clear body, go fuck yourself. Alright, this is my last max revive. Thank fuck. Thank you, less than 100 accuracy. Alright. Ludicolo, grass water. Keep Divka in. So we've beaten three. I think we've beaten his ace, which was the Milotic, so that's good. Um... But we're only halfway through this, this uh, ordeal. Ludo Colo. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh. Fuck. 
Would you stop with, with the crits, you fucker? It's just crit after crit after crit. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh... Fucking secret power it is. Right, the double team. Forgot about the double team. Okay. Revive. Honestly, I probably could have benefited from having Fort uh, Caro alive. Alright. I'm gonna revive Caro. If Debra dies, I'm going to fly all up on this Ludicolo's shit. At least it looks like this Ludicolo does not know Ice Beam, because he's just spamming Surf, so that's good. Uh, actually, Hyper Potion, since I don't need to restore any status stuff. <laughs> Dude, for a water-centric team, this he's kind of a bastard. <laughs> This is entirely because of my my typing is not beneficial to this uh, matchup, but ah, the fucking double team. One double team. Apparently, one double team is all it takes for this Ludico to become untouchable. Thank you. surfs eventually. I think it's like a 15 PP move. So he'll probably go to spamming double team after that. I was this close to just switching and aerial acing the shit out of this thing. Alright, two more. Can we survive? Divka leveled up, hooray. Alright, what's cash? Water ground. Alright. Fucking Giga Drain. One shot. Easy. Not a one shot. But a full heal, so we're good. Oh, amnesia, okay. Testing. Okay, we'll just. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd use a floor store. The WTC races are pretty fun in GT7. Big drain. Oh, that didn't. Even... Oh, yeah, that's right. Amnesia, the very large special defense buff. I forgot about that. Alright. Eat my ass, Wallace. Oh yeah, what's cash? Water ground. I could easily one-shot this thing. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> I mean, it's not posing any actual, like, threat to my survival, but it's just being an annoying little shit. Okay, finally, we're down to his last one, and it's the Gyarados, so water flying. Uh, let's see, what would be the best way to combat this? Definitely not with Deborah. Pretty sure Ice Beam would be neutral damage. Alright, we're gonna have Karo poke it, poke him first and I guess be used as a sacrifice, because I guarantee this Gyarados has an ice move. Alright, Ice Beam it is. I was going to consider Dragon Claw, but Ice Beam it is. Forgot about Intimidate. Ooh, okay. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, Hyper Beam. Well, 
I have a free turn at least. There's that, I guess. Do something. Um. Strength, I guess. Yep, yep, that one dragon dance. Gyarados is now faster than Divka and probably also. Earthquake! Okay. And Surf. Alright, we have... Okay, so that's Gyarados' entire moveset. Dragon Dance. Uh, Earthquake. Hyper Beam. Surf. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna use a Revive just because I don't trust Deborah's ability to survive a Hyper Beam. Or he could use Surf, that works too. Personally, I wouldn't want the H Beam, but sure. I win! Fuck. That was far more difficult than it had any right being. Holy shit. Fucking. I win, dab. Jesus Christ, Wallace. <laughs> the Elite Four? Cake. Wallace, actual bastard. <laughs> I, the champion, fall in defeat. Damn right you fucking do. Ah. That was wonderful work. You were elegant. Infuriatingly so. And yet, it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Rhino. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. Give me my fucking money. God damn, the Pokemon you send to battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze. At times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I fe felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. What a way with words. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim, pro proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. <laughs> Interruption. <laughs> Rhino. Hey, here's some advice before you challenge a champion. Oh. Wait, wait, what? Huh? What, 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 what? But could it be that it's already over? What? Oh, hi, it's Professor Bitch. See, what did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you you don't need to worry about Rhino? Well, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think, you've actually become the champion! Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Hmm, let me see. Ah, yes, a good time to check the Pokedex. Mm-hmm. Hmm, so you've seen 150... I've seen 150? Holy shit! You've caught 74 Pokémon. This is going to be a fantastic Pokedex. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yes. Anyways, uh, uh, congratulations. Now, go proudly into the final room. Right now. Wait, no. Let me rephrase that properly. The new champion. Come with me. <laughs> Fucking May. She's like, I want to watch. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. I can imagine that's what May's doing, like, just a big pout. <sighs> I'm just joking, that's okay. That's the rule. Honestly. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ooh, I like this room. This reflecty floor. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokémon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honor honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokémon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you. Hell yeah! We've done it! We won the Pokémon League, we're the champion, woohoo! We've beaten the main game. We have, but we're only just beginning. It was Deborah the Breloom, Divka the Mightyena, and Fortnite slash Caro the Altaria. 
Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Heel yeah. Hey look, it's me. League champion, congratulations. It only took me 30, well, 33 in-game hours. 34 those hours. We did it. And then we get this cool credit scene. The end. Oh, uh, yeah, this is relatively new. It was red up until, like, last month, and I made it purple. Other little teledramas. Uh, yeah, that, there's a lot going on with that Reaper. All right. So, that was our fun credits, but now we're back. Now it's time for the post-game. Oh, God. Here we go.